The first thing you should do before you downgrade your iPod is to actually download the iTunes 1.1.1 firmware that I have in the link up for you at the information. Another thing you should keep in mind is that downgrading from 1.1.3 to 1.1.2 will erase your music and your videos, but all of the other methods out there will erase them as well. So let's get to it. Okay, to downgrade your iPod from 1.1.3 to 1.1.1, this is probably the easiest way that I've heard of so far. So first of all, you need to make sure your iPod is connected to your computer and shows up in iTunes. And it's not in recovery mode and you can do whatever you want with it. Okay. So then you're going to want to put it into a firmware upgrade. To do that, just hold down the power button and the the power button and the home button at the same time. We're getting your iPod to show back up in iTunes when your iPod disconnects. Also release the home button. When it does this, it should close. And it should disconnect from your computer. Release the power button, but keep the home button held down. Once it reappears on your on iTunes, look at the restore and hold shift and press restore with a iTunes firmware that you should have downloaded earlier. So hold shift and press restore. And then look for the firmware. 1.1.1 I'm gonna restore with. I'm gonna look, extract the software and just let it do its thing and I'll come back when it's done to show you that I downgraded it.